Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. It actually does have quite the long name, which I will list here. Um, something about some stretch elastic technology, yada, yada, yada. But it is the Superhero Mascara from IT Cosmetics. We're doing a full first impressions review today. So if you wanna hear all of my thoughts on this guy, then just keep on watching. Okay, so just jumping right into the demo. As you guys know, we are reviewing this mascara from IT Cosmetics. This is the Superhero mascara. I'm pretty excited about it. Packaging is pretty average. Like, I mean, it's just in a sleek black tube. It kind of curves in and out. Um, so it's just kind of easy to pack. It's not big or small or anything like that. It's kind of just your normal mascara. Um, besides the fact that it kind of goes in a little bit at the big, at the middle part, that's really the only kind of differentiator. Um, it's all black and then it just says it at the bottom and then a uh, superhero on it, which is really nice. This is supposed to be a super volumizing mascara, so we will see. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit more so you can really get a sense of what's happening on my eyes. So right now I do have eyeshadow on and I know typically with mascara reviews I don't have eyeshadow on, but I'm wearing pretty, pretty minimal eyeshadow. I would say. So it's nothing that should be too distracting. Um, let me know down in the comments though if it's like overwhelming and then I'll never do it again. But um, hopefully it's not too distracting. I wanted to put eyeshadow on today. It was just the mood I was in. Anyways, let's just get into this before I get chatting. Okay. So the wand is basically one straight size, which I actually have no issue with when it comes to wands. It doesn't look like the bristles are too long or anything like that, which is nice. Kind of just seems like a good basic mascara wand, so I think it's going to be really up to the formula. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead in with the first coat. I don't know why I'm a little nervous. So as always, I like to really concentrate on the base of the lashes and then kind of wiggle my brush out. This is just gonna give you the most thickness, especially since I don't really wear liner that often, I really like doing that. Whoa. I didn't talk at all during that demo because I was just blown away. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do the bottom lashes and then then I'll give you my thoughts. Which I think you guys already know. Okay guys, this is one coat on one eye and absolutely nothing on the other. You can definitely see a drastic change in my, ooh, in my, sorry, I just threw this. Um, you can definitely see a drastic change in my lashes with just one coat, which is amazing. I typically on a regular basis just do one coat, so I am totally, totally satisfied with how my lashes are looking. They not only look long and thick, but they do have a lot of volume, which is so nice. I find that it was a very easy formula to work with. You find that sometimes when you're first trying a mascara, you're kind of getting getting to know the wand and stuff like that. This was very straightforward and it was just a basic apply, which I love. Yeah, I'm just really into it. I find that it just took my lashes from like zero to 100. This is definitely a mascara that's going to give you like a va va boom look. So if you're not looking to have very dramatic lashes and you don't like that, then I wouldn't, I don't think this is going to be the mascara for you. But if you like to really look like you have almost like fake lashes on every single day, then you're gonna like this. The formula is really doing that for me. So it, like, look at the difference, it's pretty wild. I'm gonna do a very small second coat because I don't really wanna over kill the fact that it's already looking good, um, but we're gonna do another coat just for the purpose of the video. But I would typically, uh, like I would stop here with my regular application because I really like the way that it looks. Can you guys see the difference between coat one and two? Probably not, but basically all it's done is really thickened the kind of lash line area. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye, but I just wanted to show one more time the difference between absolutely no mascara and then two coats on the top and one coat on my bottom lashes. I never ever go in with two coats on the bottom because I just think it looks too spidery and I don't like it. But two coats on the top actually looks really good with this mascara. I am super impressed so far. So I'm gonna quickly do this eye and then we'll recap a little bit more information about the mascara. Okay. 
Okay guys, so I have both eyes completely finished up now for mascara and I'm really into how it's looking. I'm so impressed and so happy because it's been a while since I failed a mascara that was wow worth. The past couple months the mascaras that I have been reviewing have been good but not really giving me that like wow factor so this was really exciting to see a mascara um, and try it for the first time and be kind of blown away. It's been a while since that's happened so very exciting and honestly like It Cosmetics I love that brand but I don't try that many of their products so it was fun to do that today um, and I'm definitely going to be trying out more products from them because I'm really really impressed. Everything that I do have from It Cosmetics is amazing like the CC plus cream you guys know is one of my all-time favorites especially in the summertime it is beautiful and they also have really great skincare line but anyways let's talk more about this foundation you guys already know that I'm totally loving it but it, it let's talk a little bit more about the actual mascara so the full name of the mascara is quite a mouthful on Sephora it is called the superhero elastic stretch volumizing mascara quite the name. I'm not really sure what the elastic stretch really means, so I'm just going to read a little bit. It says that it is a game-changing mascara that gives lashes the appearance of volume, length, and elastic stretch in just one coat. So I saw the volume, I saw the length for sure, but I don't understand what elastic stretch means. And they are right. I definitely saw those first two things. Um, in the first coat, right away I was noticing like, wow, this is this formula is really giving my lashes a lot of length, a lot of thickness and volume, which is amazing. The second coat was kind of just like a bonus. So that's definitely true. In one coat, you can achieve exactly what you're looking for in a lash. But I'm really not sure what this whole like stretch thing means. So it was developed with plastic surgeons. So it's like skincare for your lashes. Okay, so basically this elastic stretch technology stretches the look of your lashes wider, longer, and wraps each individual lash in a volume boosting, lengthening, ultra conditioning coat of support and color for the strongest, thickest, most defined results. Okay, pretty interesting. So basically it's just going to make your, like pull your lashes into something better. Uh, okay, so I kind of get it. The fact that it was made with plastic surgeons is super cool. Um, I definitely think that, you know, that's pretty neat. I've never read anything like that about a mascara, so that's really cool. Now, I don't know much about this, you know, elastic strength technology, but I can say, however, that the things that it claims that the elastic, like that technology will do, it did do. So there's that to kind of think about. I definitely agree with everything that it's saying that the mascara is going to do. And then just quickly, it does not have parabens, sulfates, phthalates. I'm not a scientist, but it doesn't have parabens and sulfates, which is the two things that I really look for, but uh, the third is a bonus for me. Okay, so price-wise, it is $32 and available at Sephora or Ulta. Um, you can get them online or in-store, and honestly, it's, it's such a tough subject when it comes to high-end mascaras and whether I would purchase them or not because I am very much so the type of person that when I need a new mascara, I go straight to the drugstore and I just buy some of my favorites, which are usually around the $12 to $15 mark. So this is pretty much double the price. Honestly, it's a really good mascara. So if you are in the market and you enjoy splurging or you like having kind of a high-end makeup collection, then I would definitely recommend this. But if you are somebody who's on a budget and you need a really good mascara, there are many mascaras at the drugstore that will give you the exact same kind of look and feel as this mascara. But for the purposes of this video and this review, would I recommend this mascara to purchase? Yes, because it is a really, really good one. And $32 is not too bad. It's kind of at par for all the high-end um, makeup brands such as Benefit, Too Faced. They all go for around $32 to $36. So I would definitely say it's on the lower spectrum for price-wise at the high-end level. And it is really good. And off just one coat, it really gives your lashes that fullness, volume, thickness that... What am I saying? I just said the same word in three different ways. Um, it definitely does, does on one coat give you length, volume, and thickness, which I look for in a mascara all the time because I like to have my ma honestly, like for me, the point of wearing mascara is to look like my lashes look amazing. Like I'm not looking for a mascara that's just gonna give me a little bit. So this is definitely going to give you that false lash effect. So I would recommend this for not only every day, but if you're going out at night and you want a dramatic mascara, this one is definitely going to give that for you. All that to say, I definitely give this mascara two thumbs up so far. Of course, this is a first impression, so down below in the description box, I will leave whether the mascara flakes on me, which is my biggest pet peeve. That will turn this whole review into a 
no but it is a first impression so i will leave that down below and let you guys know i will continue wearing this for a couple of days anyways guys that wraps up this first impressions review thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe and of course i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys